I see naked people. But don't worry, this podcast is still safe for work. It looks like that question that Ben Patrick Johnson asked me, what should journalists do about posting naked pictures of themselves on the internet, isn't so obvious after all. Today, Page Six reports that- Hold on, Page Six doesn't report, it's a gossip page. That Kenneth Walsh, a blogger better known as Kenneth in the 212, has posted naked photos of former CNN headline news anchor and insider host Thomas Roberts. Photos that he found on the cruising site Manhunt.net. The post says, quote, Thomas Roberts has brought yet another embarrassment to the syndicated Paramount TV show. Yet another? What else did he do? Oh, right. He came out of the closet. How embarrassing. Though one has to wonder who should be more embarrassed. Roberts, who should have known better and kept his insider firmly anchored. Or blogger Kenneth Walsh, shown here fully clothed. Who chose to embarrass America's first publicly, openly gay national news anchor. As well as give the post fodder to say things like... Thomas Roberts has brought yet another embarrassment, yet another embarrassment, yet another embarrassment to the syndicated Paramount TV show. Way to think things through, Kenneth. But I'm sure your traffic's through the roof today. A rep from The Insider is quoted by The Post as saying, We have hired Thomas Roberts from CNN for his journalistic strengths and integrity. It is unfortunate that after four days on the job at The Insider, he has become a victim of this malicious personal attack. Walsh, responding on his blog, said, Since when is pointing out that someone has a hot, naked body a malicious personal attack? You know what they say, don't shoot the messenger. Okay, Kenneth, I won't shoot you. But what exactly was the message? That all gay men are exhibitionists spending their nights trolling for sex? That because he is gay, Roberts has to be some sort of sex fiend? Because that's the message that these guys, and these guys, and the people who read them got from what you did. It's true that there's no such thing as privacy on the internet anymore. Everything you do, see, post, or type will be there for everyone to see forever. Which can be scary because that means anyone can Google your reputation in a heartbeat. Which is something that Kenneth and the two on two might want to consider. Because while Robert Snap will always be the guy with naked photos of himself on the internet, Kenneth is always going to be known as the guy who, to make a name for himself, showed those photos to the entire world. And, in a gotcha, salacious context, it only validates the viewpoint of homophobes.